here back with another video and today I will be showing you how to install plugins on Final Cut Pro this application right down here it's a very simple process I'm gonna show you every step through it so you don't get any trouble or anything so if we go to finder here applications let's press get info so this is Final Cut Pro 10.4.8 I just want to let you guys know that you guys probably want to check that out too just to make sure it's not an older version and like the process is different but once we do this first we're gonna go onto the internet and find the plugin we want I'm gonna be installing the TV glitch transition FCPX that's basically Final Cut Pro X so what we're gonna do is I use this one Ryan Nangle so I'm gonna press on it Stand by. Right away. And then in here, we're going to see the free download. It's probably different, but you just want to find the download link. And then we can click this out. And then it's $0, so we can press buy now with 0% off. We're going to press add to... Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Here we have the free TV glitch transition. We're going to press... We're going to fill in our information. I'm going to burn this out. Okay, once we have this in, you're gonna have to agree to this. You probably wanna turn this off. Once we do that, zero dollars, no charges. We're gonna actually have to fill in a state, and once you press that, everything's good. You can press continue. Processing your payment, we have sent it. So now I'm gonna go to my email. So guys, I am here now, and I'm gonna press the link, and then you just press download product. Take you to here, you're gonna press the green download button, and there we go. Now we have the link, we can close out of all this, and now what we're gonna do is go to this, the link, or the zip file we got, open it up, and then we should get a folder here. It's probably gonna be called the same as the zip. But, as you can see when we open it, you're gonna have another folder, you can press into that folder. And then we have all this weird stuff. And this is basically what you want to know, this white file right here. It's not in any other thing, so you shouldn't get it mixed up. But you want to keep track of this white thing, this white page. Just want to keep track of that. So <clears throat> when we like when we're looking through this, it does say um, well, it's a transition. So when we go into here, we know it's a transition, and that's why we need to go. So we're gonna do new Finder window. We're gonna go to Applications. So here we're gonna see our Final Cut Pro application. Right click and then press show package contents. Let's press that, we're gonna go to contents. Then we're gonna go into plugins. Then we're gonna go into media providers, then motion effect, contents, and then we're gonna go to resources. Once so we're here, we're gonna look for the templates folder right here. I'm gonna go into that. Then we're gonna see four folders, and then these other things you don't wanna worry about. We're gonna see effects, generators, titles, and transitions. Those are the four categories that you can add to your videos. So what we're gonna do is press transitions in the transitions folder, and what we're gonna do is simply get this folder, the TV glitch or your plugin, and drag it into the transitions. Now it is in here, we're not completely done, but it's installed. Don't have to worry about anything else. Now we're gonna go into here, we're gonna go into the other folder, and we're gonna see this white page. What we're gonna do is right click and press rename, go to the end, and do dot M-O-T-R. We're gonna press enter, and now it is fully installed. Now we can close out of that, and now we can open Final Cut Pro up. Okay guys, so now we are in. This is some old video stuff. But now let's simply just make a new project titled. Once we're here, we can go to here generators. Just put something. Let's let's change this to actually something that has texture and stuff. Do that and that. I'm gonna add this into the middle. This is how transitions should work. Let's just increase the size of this, make it a lot bigger, you want to change the settings a bit, and now if we go here, as you can see that was the glitch transition right there, 
and that's how you install anything if you want to do effects it's the same thing just gotta find that white file and put motor at the end and drag it into the effects folder but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you dab and goodbye bye